On va continuer l'histoire. All the resistance members made it out safe as well. And the general? The interrogation was rough on him, but it's nothing life-threatening. He's safe in the car. We'll take him to our headquarters. I think it's time he joined us as our leader. I see. Glad to hear it. We can handle the rest from here. You'd better get going. You're all in a... Yeah. We need to end this war before springtime, remember? It's a promise, then. My baby's counting on it. Ah, right. You should know. If it's a boy, I plan on naming him Claw. What? I, oh. Uh, I, I don't know if I really deserve to have someone named after me. He's got a point. You don't want him turning out to be a stick in the mud like this guy. Well, if he's a stick in the mud, he'll be a tough one. And that's good enough for me. Goodbye, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck. That car, huh? Uh-uh. Sniper! Damn it! They're after the general! <laughs> no, he va mourir. Mega! Et voilà. Ça aurait pas pu tirer plus vite. Oops. I need to move. <laughs> Come on. An enfant sans son père. These resistance guys are all just civilians, huh? No regulations to follow. No medals for their heroes. But if anyone's a hero, it was him. He ran on his own faith. We'd never have rescued the general without him. <laughs> but he had a reason to survive. You all heard him. How could he leave his baby behind? He lived a life to be proud of. He never turned away from doing the right thing. Not even when it meant death. One more reason we have to stop the Empire. We made him a promise. Yeah. Triste. Mais on a d'autres histoires encore. Sergio, what do I do with all this cotton? Could you roll them up into little pieces? About the size of a fingertip. I soak them in alcohol for disinfectant. Okay. Those are a bit too small, sweetie. They'll have to be a little bigger than this. But you said it had to be the size of a fingertip. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot your hands are a wee bit smaller than mine. How about this? I need them the size of a hard candy. You've had those before, haven't you? Uh-huh. One of the soldiers gave me one yesterday. There you go, then. Just fill up the jar with cotton balls that size. I have to say, my job's gotten a lot easier with such a helpful little assistant. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> I wish I could stay here and help you all the time, Sergio. Va falloir qu'elle retourne dans le réacteur. <laughs> I'd be happy for the help. Karen's skilled, but she's better suited to surgical matters. You'd make a fine nurse one day, if you wanted to be one. I guarantee it. I wish I could. Then I could stay with everyone forever. Oh, I'm sure you can. What's got you so uncertain? Je suis un réacteur ambulant. I see. That's everyone accounted for then. Thank you for the report. The ship will be back on course soon. Do what you can to help finish resupplying and prepare to embark. So, Squad E made it back in time. Yes, just as expected. But their morale seems low right now. There were some losses suffered in the local resistance group. On the other hand, the team seems more united in their goal than ever before. I'm glad they're on our side. 
But I'm afraid the key to the rest of this operation is... Oh, that's one of the block transmission lines. It's coming from Ship One. We're being hailed by the Cavalier. Put them through, now. Yes, sir. Huh? Captain. Les mecs sont sur le point de. Interlude, the witch and the wolf. Mr. Wallace, the resistance wanted you to have this medal. Please accept it. Allié de la au rose bleu. On va regarder ça, c'est sympa. Ça parle de la sorcière. Enfin, ça parle de la Valkyrie. I've tracked the Centurion's position to this area, right where we want them. Uh huh. So how do you plan on taking them down? Our goal is to capture the ship, not capsize it. Capture, capsize. You sure get hung up on details, my man. The snow cruiser is a beautiful piece of work, but it's not like you'll get to keep it. Salut Star, ça va? I get why Doc Belgar is taking a scientific interest in it. A promise. A promise. From Aria, I'll have you sorry as well. Oh no. But know this: failure is not an option. <sighs> Nor shall disobedience be tolerated. Belgar's orders. Should you repeat the same mistake? You'll be sent back to the research facility. <gasps> Whoa there. What do you mean by that? The laboratory is demanding we return their Valkyria. One of its top researchers, Professor Forster, has defected. Since then, our working relationship has been... strained. We've been ignoring their demands thus far. But should you fail to prove yourself useful on the Crystal Sea, ça va, ça va, on continue l'histoire de Valkyria Chronicles, là. Holy shit! Uh. You really suck at this! Sure, you're an ace when it comes to war, but you don't have a clue how to treat a lady. I beg your pardon? What the hell are you doing, twisting her arm like that before the final showdown? Seriously, what do you and Belgar think Cremaria is? Oh. Une arme. A weapon. A tool. Nothing more. Look, Forsetti. And you too, Cremaria. We're all comrades in arms, aren't we? What? Comrades? Ah. Uh. Of course. Live together. Fight together. What else would you call that but comrades? So come on. We can afford to act like a team, right? <laughs> I think not. I want nothing to do with it. Nah. <laughs> <sighs> Have it for Seti. Carry on with your little plan. Ce serait bien qu'il vienne avec nous, lui. Nothing but a failure. <laughs> Just a useless defect. Perhaps I ought to return it to the laboratory. No matter. There's more where it came from. <laughs> Why? I gave them everything. And still they brand me as worthless. Am I truly nothing? No. Selvaria, you are the pride of the Empire. Prove your loyalty to his grace. 
Show the world your power. Help me. Someone, please. Mais elle était quoi, humaine avant Hey, you in there It's that obnoxious man. I hear Fenrir in there, which means you're in there too, aren't you, princess? I need to speak with you. Coming in, okay? No! Stay out! Well now, you okay in there? You crying again? I told you to stay out! Fine, my bad. You're right, it's rude to enter a lady's room without permission. Then leave me be. You could wait a millennium and still I wouldn't invite you in. Oh. So I have to stand out here a thousand and one years? Fine by me. You're worth the wait. <sighs> You've been through a lot, haven't you? It must be hard having to tough it out all by your lonesome. Why don't we talk about it and... Leave me alone! Sorry, no can do. What sort of gentleman would I be if I left a damsel in distress? Guess I'll just come back later. <sighs> Elle va finir par le tuer au bout d'un moment. But you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You don't care about peace. All you care about is your own twisted cause. Flawed, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! Mm. Am I intruding? My apologies. Belgar. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I can hardly keep up with these constant calls from headquarters. Sounds like the army is in quite a state of turmoil. They're withdrawing from the Gallian front as we speak. <laughs> ah, yes. I suppose that would be good news for you. To say nothing of Prince Maximilian falling in battle. After writing off Operation Cygnus as a trifle for so long, Headquarters must be reeling. They're assembling all the troops they can muster to defend the capital. That must be why they want it back. I assume they'll be recalling the rest of XO as well. <laughs> the fools. They haven't a clue what creeps ever closer. If only they knew the truth of Operation Cygnus. They'd be throwing everything they have at it. Mm. But their ignorance is our opportunity. <laughs> Indeed. I trust you will succeed this time. Yes, sir. Il y a sûrement un twist avec l'opération. Je pense pas qu'ils veulent finir la guerre ou, Now, then, ou prendre des capitaux. your roles in the coming operation. Yes, my lord. I would have you rest for now. Leave this one to Forseti. You will allow us to rest? But of course. You two are my trump cards after all. I can't play my hand this early in the game. You understand, do you not? The role I have given you. Yes, my lord. We do. We are yours to command. I'm glad you're taking so well to your calibrations. It'd be a shame to have to retire such valuable resources. Thank you, Lord Velgar. Thank you, Lord Velgar. Hmm. Je sais, je sais pas ce qu'il leur a fait, mais apparemment, ça a l'air d'être gros quand même.
Elle est sympa l'histoire au final. Elle est bizarre mais elle est sympa. Hey there, princess. Oh, come on, Fenrir, don't give me that. You and me, we're one and the same. Loyal knights sworn to protect our master. That makes us comrades too, right, boy? I don't recall knighting the likes of you. Nice view. You come here often? <laughs> It's nice to have a place to yourself. Growing up, I didn't have anywhere to call home. Sure, I was born into a wealthy house. Problem was, my mother was the maid. Noble indiscretion. Like most bastards, I was neglected, abused. One day I'd had enough and I ran away to the slums. It was a real cesspool, a place for the lowest of the low. But at least I was free there. The streets were my true home. I met new people, found friendship, even fell in love. If my mind's in the gutter, it's always going to be in their gutters. Holding on to that helps me get by. How about you? You got a place like that? No. If I belong anywhere, it's under the knife. Ah, that lab they want to ship you back to. Every day was a new experiment. They'd strap electrodes to my head, apply stimuli, and observe how I'd react. Needle piercing, water torture, sleep deprivation. Cut me apart, put me back together, slice my brain. Wow. Easy. I get it. You don't have to relive all that. But that's my true home. I fought so hard to be chosen. But even now, if I fail again, it's back to the lab for more experiments, more torture. Until my final sunset. Do you finally see? No one can understand my pain. Leave me. I have nothing more to say to you. Not happening. You think you deserve to be locked up in some loony bin? To hell with that. I'll never let those bastards have you. <sighs> right here's where you belong. And that's final. How dare you? Not in a million years. Not doing it for you? Huh? My pecs are usually a big hit with the ladies. You... Cur! Yeah, you're right. I was a real hound dog. But not anymore. From this day forward, my heart is your home. And yours alone. No. If you want somewhere to belong, look no further. When you laugh, when you cry, I'll be there. For all of it. Fenrir, teach this insolent oaf his place. Eh, on repart. Euh, chapitre 14, on est bientôt à la fin, je crois. Il en reste encore 4. Ah ouais, non, mais le mec, il est marrant, il fait que draguer... Euh... La Valkyrie qui est complètement instable. Sympa, marrant. Ça fait passer le temps. Bon, il y a l'autre bateau qui est en train, en train de couler. Cavalier. We have been surrounded by ground troops, requesting immediate assistance. The fact that they broke radio silence to call for help removed all doubt. Their lives are on the line. Ou alors ils sont tous déjà morts. Moi je dis ça plutôt, mais. The cavalier was attacked about 50 knots from the capital. 50 miles, je suppose que. 50 miles. That's far enough that we could go around them and continue, while the cavalier distracts them. 
our allies ask for help, and you want to abandon them? The Cavalier's going to sink without us. Claude, you have to stay calm. You know this is a trap to lure us out. There would be a huge force waiting there for us. They want to take down our ships one by one. Don't let your emotions control you. If we keep moving while the enemy targets them, we can seize our chance. I can see the logic. Leaving the Cavalier behind to head for the objective would limit the strain on our supplies. But can we really capture the capital with a single ship? One that isn't even running at full parameters? More than anything, can we really just sit by and watch another one of our sister ships fall? Malai... The Cavalier is between us and the capital. If we charge ahead at full speed, we can rescue them. Do you really think the Cavalier can hold out, surrounded by that kind of force? Even if they could, it only proves that it's a trap for us. Ms. Miller, how much engine output do we have available compared to before our breakdown? Well, the main reactor's still non-functional, so we're relying on the backup engine. We're still operating under a limiter, but if we took it off, I think we could bring it up to 40%. But that would only last us a few hours. I don't know if the engine could take the strain after that. Hmm. It might just be enough to make it in time. Captain, are you seriously thinking of going to help them? Say long term, ça va? Yes. It's not simply a matter of saving our allies, as Mr. Wallace suggested. We have learned from the loss of the comet. The greatest threat to our mission is the Valkyria herself. And judging from the Cavalier's transmission, I think it's clear she's among their assailants. Like some double D. So you want us to take advantage of the distraction and attack them from behind? The enemy will be prepared to intercept, but I imagine it'll be more favorable than facing them head on. But sir... I don't know how. It appears the enemy can move about freely on the Crystal Sea as well. Even if we let them go, we won't have heard the last of that Valkyria. If we want to win, we'll have to confront and defeat her. The sole objective of the Cygnus fleet is to take the Imperial capital. This is a mensonge. And to that end, we will defeat the Valkyria. Brian, change course. Aye, aye, Captain. Hard to starboard. We're heading to rescue the Cavalier at top speed. There's an histoire bizarre dans le jeu. Mr. Wallace, I've made my choices based on my own determination. I suggest you do the same. But remember, we're soldiers, not machines. We have to carry out our mission, but that isn't our only purpose. You should always make choices that you won't regret, even if they aren't the right ones. I want you to remember that, no matter what comes to pass, because lives hang in the balance at our command, and some consequences can never be undone. Sir! Speed? We can't even get to half speed. We're heading to a showdown with the Valkyria. We need all the power we can get. A showdown? With the ship like this? That's ridiculous. It only grazed us last time, and that took the whole damn reactor offline. Next time they're gonna sink us. This is impossible. Hey, why are you all acting so scared? This could be our chance to finally beat our arch enemy and save our friends at the same time. I thought real men were supposed to get fired up in times like this. <sighs> hey, you heard her! I thought I had a bunch of engineers in here! This ought to get your blood pumping! We're the best in Edinburgh! And we got the heart of a secret military super weapon in our hands! <laughs> All right, boys. Let's show them what the Centurion can do. Aye, aye! Let's get started, Andre. Take the limiter off the backup engine. You're trying to kill our backup engine too? 
We're the best in Edinburgh, right? If we're that good, we can keep it from overheating. <laughs> Can't argue there, Missy. Okay, fellas, we got the fix of a lifetime on our hands. Balancer de l'eau sur le moteur. Let's get to. Il faut refoutre la petite fille dans le générateur, en fait. I should make sure the gauze and bandages are close at hand. The disinfectant is over here. Angie, can I ask you to disinfect the lighter wounds? Yeah, I, I'll do my best. <laughs> A reliable assistant indeed. If you start feeling sick, you can always go back to your room. Ah, that's some aggressive acceleration. Ah oui, elle peut. Elle peut. <rire> elle peut communiquer avec le bateau. Apparemment. Avec le moteur. Je sais pas pourquoi. Je sais pas comment. C'est Kojima. Il a sûrement dû écrire l'histoire en fait, Kojima. I don't know if he's the commander here, but that request was urgent enough that we know the Valkyria is in play. My brother, Forsetti, told me he had the strongest Valkyria in his unit. I guess his plan was to attack the Cavalier and use their distress call to lure us out. Yeah, it sounds like him. Man, we got a real life Valkyria and a guy who doesn't care about using dirty tactics to win. Yeah, it's a dangerous combination, all right. Pl We've never gone head to head against them before. I don't know what kind of strategy would work, but there is a chance. Valkyria isn't a perfect weapon. Uh, with that kind of power, I'd say she's pretty damn close. No, that's just it. She might be too strong. I got the impression she couldn't fully control her power. If she had full command over it, she could have destroyed the entire Cygnus fleet. Huh. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Even if you've got the most powerful rifle in the world, you couldn't hit a sleeping Porcavian without your sights. We don't have to confront all that firepower head on. We've got a weapon on our side called strategy. And that will give us our chance to win. Ah, les discours, quoi. Les discours qui... Il donne toujours plus de, de volonté de combattre, mais ça veut pas vraiment dire grand chose au final. Alors c'est quoi ta stratégie cette fois, Claude, contre la Valkyrie Allow me to brief you on the upcoming operation. Yo, le cavalier est encerclé par des impériaux. Il est où le cavalier Pour les dégager, nous allons attaquer de prendre le camp ennemi dans les ruines. Le ruine comporte plusieurs étages, ça change de prendre plus haut, ok. De toute façon, rendra une défense bien plus facile. Nous pensons que la Valkyria est proche. Les attaques sont puissantes, mais toujours portées en courbe. Donc vous trouvez une surface avec un abrité et tout se passera bien. On a droite et gauche. <rire> c'est pour, pour ça, bon terme. Kind of exciting. You'd better keep up. Let's go. Lock and load. Let's do it. Là. I've got this. Non, Kyla. Riley. Je sais pas, je... Ouais, allez, go. On va, on va voir comment ça va se passer de toute façon. On sait pas s'il y a beaucoup de temps, on sait pas s'il y a... Break through the enemy in circle, men, and rescue the cavalier. Squad E, 
Move out. Dun, 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 dun. Captain Forsetti, how long are we to continue surrounding the enemy ship? Until I order you to move. But, sir, we've already eliminated the enemy's ground team. All that's left is to take control of the ship itself. Shouldn't we be preparing for close quarters combat? I said wait for orders. Don't move until my command. Sir. Mm. He hasn't come. But I was sure he would. Oh, Why? You don't think he'll show up to the party? Ah, il est là, lui. They'll come. Both your prediction and my intuition told us that. What's Cremaria's condition? Just fine. Sitting there pretty as a princess. She's part of the plan this time, right? Seems like she's pretty happy about it. That's not important. I'm using a weapon to its full potential. Nothing more. There you go again, talking like... Oh. Well, looky here. A guest of honor. <sighs> I'll go roll out the welcome wagon. Just like we planned. <laughs> I knew they'd come. Yes. Very good plan. Est-ce qu'on peut combattre Merci. Oh mon dieu Ils aiment bien discuter quand même. Keep an eye out for changes in the environment. Moving to the Cavalier. C'est parti, on va sauver nos potes. Wow, on a plein de points d'action. On va d'abord passer avec le, le Afen. Il y a une base à prendre à gauche. C'est un peu pourri, non ah, on arrive dans leur dos du coup. Eh oui, on arrive dans leur dos parce qu'ils sont en train de de prendre le bateau d'assaut. Donc nous, on est arrivé dans leur dos. Ça c'est cool. Il y a là, j'ai l'impression qu'il y a une base à prendre. Minerva, elle est trop bien Minerva. Yes, of course. Go. Rescue the Cavalier. Watch your footing and proceed with caution. On a menti. Federation officer, I will not fall here. Ça allait, mec. Ah ouais, mais là, du coup, elle tire tout seul. Oh la vache. C'est un peu bizarre. Certainement à rien, ce canon lui.
putain Toi derrière, bordel On aurait dû prendre plus de lanciers, c'est la merde. On peut recommencer. Ok, moving out. Excusez-moi, je passe. Ok, moving out. Ça sent tellement le piège, mais c'est incroyable. Bouge pas. Merci. Je fais que passer, je fais que passer, je fais que passer. Ouais, des fois, on, le sel du, du du camion là pour transporter les troupes, c'est horrible. Hein. Le, le mec, il fait pas de dégâts, mais c'est affreux. Hein. C'est vraiment affreux, quoi. pas si on utilise le radar ou pas. Ah oui, il faut qu'on se débarrasse d'eux là. Oh, Kai, on lui a mis un anti. un anti-blindage. Ça va. Oh putain de merde. Elle a tiré sur l'ami. C'est énorme, mais c'est énorme. Attends, il y a un sniper là, mais il y a eux là-bas aussi. Il y a lui. Lui risque de détruire le. Ils 
ça va tellement mal se passer ici. Ah là c'est fini là. Là ce côté là c'est mort. Ah on va perdre le, le transport de troupes et euh, au moins une personne. À moins que le mec soit... Non c'est bon. Ça c'est bien. Cool Ah, catastrophe. On va pouvoir les sauver, hein, mais euh, catastrophe quand même. C'est horrible son arme lui. Ça sert tellement à rien. Catastrophe. Ouais, elle est bien la bonne. Il y a chat qu'on qu va avancer. Ouais, c'est vraiment des balles en caoutchouc là. La brunette Kai, elle est vraiment cool. Elle aussi, Minerva, elle est bien. Ah. Let's see, ballistic trajectory. Precisely. Est-ce que ça passe? Non, ça passe pas. Bien joué. C'est l'heure de Minerva. Yes, of course. Fall in. I got your back. Fall in. There. Euh, bonjour. Ils ont quoi comme armure ces mecs Boing boing. Pas attention à moi, pas attention à moi, pas attention à moi. Là on a une bonne équipe. 
d'intervention. C'est maintenant que tu le sors ton invincible C'est super Tu n'as pas pu le sortir avant Oh On est dans la merde Ça va bien. 